Hi everyone, happy Monday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Guess what we got back in stock? 2022 Topps Clearly Authentic Baseball, 20 box, pick your team, number six from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to everybody here for getting in on the action. The X line, getting the last 10 teams, getting all that last spot mojo. Thanks to him and thanks to everybody else who got into the action as well. Appreciate it, thank you. We got another case in the store if you're watching live. Let's go. Let's do it. Oliver, our friend Oliver had an interesting question. Cody Bellinger, where does he end up next year? I think he's a free agent after this season. Or is there one more year of arbitration, Oliver? You think they'll just arbitrate him again? He sticks around for another season? I don't know what the what, what the what the Bellinger value is. Obviously, he has you know pretty top-notch defensive skills. The hitting has been just very very spotty. Um, there's one in case autograph per box. Some really nice stuff in here too. Yeah, watch he'll leave the Dodgers and get a few more MVPs. Center fielder for the Padres and improvement from Grissom. That's true. Defensively, yeah. Maybe even hitting wise too. All right. How about some Alejo Lopez? Fifty seven out of seventy five. Actually let me grab a blank card here. And get a little more contrast. Yeah, Jordan Wilson, Padres fan saying anything's better than Gris. This is for the Reds. That's going to go to Michael C. with Cincinnati. We're on Cincinnati. All right, next up. Is an Angel. That's Reed Detmers. Rookie auto for the Halos. 22 out of 50. I think that's the red board. I think a little nice little color match with the team. That'll be for Sean H. And the Halos. And there's Connor Siebold. That's how that's how I want to that's how the card wanted to pop out of here. Rookie auto for Boston. That's gonna be for Jonathan Kent. That's right, Diego. You can see Galato. You can see these cards clearly. <laughs> All right. Next up is Juan Soto. Nice. That's a one out of five, Juan Soto. Let's go. The X line with the Nats. They were just sitting there until the X line snapped up all those. All those teams, on card auto out of five. Very nice. And out of fives and under, a train whistle, the X line. You can do it with me if you want. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. That's right. For the Suns PC, for reals, for reals. There you go, nice. Wake up the neighborhood, X line. That's a nice one. Wake up the neighborhood with a train whistle. We got Christian Yelich, thirty-four out of uh, twenty-four. I was gonna say thirty-four out of twenty-five. That doesn't make sense. Twenty-four out of twenty-five. I like that tech auto. I kind of miss tops high tech baseball. Let's bring maybe bring that back. I think that set got a. Oh, that goes to the Brew Crew, by the way. It's also for Josh. I feel like that those tech sets got a little bloated. They they added too many, they add they did too they tried to add too many layers to it. But if they kind of simplified that a little bit, trimmed that back down, made like a parallel hunt really fun. You know, working working some really valuable variations and short prints that could be could be a fun one. There's Mark Burley, in the. Uh, a late 80s design for the White Sox. Ronnie with the White Sox. That was a late pickup too. Well, under under the Fanatics banner, Adam, we may see some uh, 
tops tech football comeback. Definitely tops football, but maybe maybe they'll bring tech back. But yeah, I, nah, too many parallels, right? I feel like in the early the earlier years, I guess post original years, and then I guess the early reissue years, uh, I feel like they really kept those parallel numbers down, but it got to be a little too much. There's Brian De La Cruz. If they trim that a little bit, I think that'd be. I, th I think it could be a really hot product. But it's not up to me. Miami Marlins. That's for Jordan Wilson. Another late pickup. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so, Terry. Next up is Curtis Terry. We're just talking to Terry. Uh, two first name guys. Although this, these could be two last names as well. For the twins, that's going to be for the X line. But even more than those parallels, though, um, Terry, like, I, uh, I really would want to see, um, like, just less redemptions. And I think these recent, recent Fanat Fanatics Umbrella Tops releases have seen a lot less redemptions, but hopefully that'll, that trend will continue. That's right, Oliver, good eye. Good eye, Oliver. A little logo match. We talk about color matches. What about a logo match? TC, TC, or CT, CT. All right, here we got Hyunjin Ru for the Blue Jays. The X line with the Blue Birds, former Dodger. He could be really great. I feel like injuries always derail the South Korean pitcher. All right, this one is. Dylan Carlson. That is 57 out of 99. Dylan Carlson. Carlson for the Cardinals. That's for Diego. There you go, Diego. Next. Ooh, landscape mode, Matt Veerling, rookie autograph for the Fightin' Phils. Mark with the Phillies. Scratches on the uh, case itself, but the card I'm sure is fine. Ladies and gentlemen, we do have another case of this in the store right now. I'd be happy to run this back. Got plenty of time to, to fill it and sell it and break it if you want to. Next up is Logan Gilbert. Generation Now autograph. It's pretty good. Oh, let's get, show you the contrast here. There you go. Uh, does not look like it's numbered. No, not numbered, but still nice. Mariners, Michael Losia. All right. Next, a boxy box. It's Josh Lowe. Maybe a sort of, sort of yoga position here. What's happening here? I know he's probably asking for time, but it, it, but is that a yoga position? Is that sort of a a, a crane karate move, perhaps? Or is he going to sweep the leg? A little exercising, Adam's saying. Maybe a little Tai Chi. A little leg lifts here. We got Cal Ripken Jr. 8 out of 10. These t this team was sitting there. It was, a, it was among the last of the bunch. The X line with the Orioles. Do, 
ドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルドゥルド Pedro Martinez, nice. Red Sox edition, 18 out of 50. Bo Sox, that's going to be Jonathan Kent. Final five. This break is a breeze, too. Shipping team loves this break, it's, it's easy to ship. There's Jesse Winker. 37 out of 50. That if I if I was a, uh, I guess I could still like if if Jesse Winker ever uh, ever sits in on a break with us, definitely asking him how much he winks. That would be my clown question for him. Next up is Cecil Fielder, two out of 50. Tigers. Uh, Jesse Winker, by the way, goes to Michael. And Detroit, that's for the X line. Three more to go, three more to go. Right, yeah, Jesse Winker did almost take on the entire Angels, Angels dugout. Feisty. Next up is Reese Hoskins. 22, and a little gnat or a mosquito or something like that flying around here. Reese Hoskins. 25 out of 99 for the fight and fills mark. Two more to go. It is Juan Gon Gonzalez, 13 out of 50 for Tejas. That's Diego and the Rangers. There you go, Diego. Juan Gonzalez, Juan Gon Gonzalez. And the last box. Good luck, everybody. It's going to be, who could it be now? Do, 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 do. It is, you're a wizard. That's Ozzy Smith. You're a wizard, Harry. 53 out of 99. Uh, you're a wizard, Ozzy, really. That's for Diego and the Cardinals. Wingardium Leviosa. There it goes. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Yeah, was, was Ozzy a Ravenclaw, you think? Was that what kind of wizard was was Ozzy Smith? Not a Slytherin, that's for sure. Maybe a Ravenclaw. There you go, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Maybe Gryffindor. I'll see you next time for the next clearly authentic baseball break. Bye-bye.